to the 2018 Gibbon Royalty Coronation. My name is Nikki Sabo, one of the three coordinators for the Gibbon Royalty Program. In addition to myself, the coordinators that keep this program going strong are Anna Tice, I think she's down here somewhere, there's Anna, and Alexi Schilling, and I think she's over there with the candidates. Yay. <laughs> uh, additionally, in addition to those two, um, even after moving to Winthrop, we also have Steph Thorson, who remains as our program's treasurer. I guess you really can't take the given out of the girl, can you? Um, so if you're interested in joining our program, please let Anna, Alexi, or myself know. Uh, before we get started, I would like to ask everyone to please make sure all cell phones are on silent. And as we begin tonight, I would also like to take this opportunity to send out a few thank yous. First, we thank each of you in the audience this evening for coming out and supporting all of these wonderful young women. We also want to thank the Given Fire and Rescue Department for their support and use of their fire trucks throughout the summer for parades. We also thank Jensen Motors of New Ulm for letting us ride in style in their convertibles that are for sale, by the way, um, all summer long as well. Uh, we thank the Fun Fest Committee for allowing us to be included in their Winterfest activities this weekend, GFW Schools for allowing us to use their facility, and the Hair Base, Audra Forest, and Lar Larissa DeRouge of Panaz Hair and Day Spa of New Ulm for their talents in styling the girls' hair for today. Uh, and finally, to the Winthrop Honor Guard for continuing to supply our royals with scholarships. Thank you to all of those wonderful organizations. And now it's time for me to turn over the mic to our two MCs for this evening. Please welcome Gibbon Princess 2008-2009, Catherine Shiro, and your 2012-2013 Princess, Johanna Hughes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine Shiro, Gibbon Princess 2008-2009. I currently reside in Gibbon with my dog, Cooper, and I graduated from Bridgewater in a diploma in photography. I currently work at Minnesota Valley Action Council in Gaylord, um, and I work with local families with heating and rental assistance. In my spare time, I keep busy with photography and spending lots of time with my family, and in the summer, you can find me uptown Gibbon working at RC Popper's Popcorn Wagon. Hello. I am Johanna Utes, Gibbon Princess 2012-2013. Um, a little bit about what I've been up to. Last May, I graduated from the College of St. Benedict up in St. Joseph with a degree in creative writing and a minor in art. Um, since then, I've moved back home here to Gibbon, and I'm currently working at the Standard Gazette and Messenger in Fairfax as a writer. Um, in my free time, I like to write, and uh, I also raise a herd of dairy goats with my sister, Stacy. Throughout the years, the Gibbon Royalty has shared many smiles and miles throughout southern Minnesota. We are proud to introduce to you the young woman that undertook this journey this past year. Please welcome your Miss Gibbon 2017, Caitlin Unger. Caitlin is the daughter of Will and Chris Unger. She stays busy by being involved with many activities at school. She is an active member of the GFW Student Council, National Honor Society, captain of the Voltage Dance Team, and enjoys performing in the Pop Choir. She is also active in her 4-H club, likes to paint, scrapbook, and read. In the summer, Caitlin can be found car hopping at the Country Drive-In in Winthrop and helps the Gibbon Lions with bingo. After high school, Caitlin plans to further her education with a focus on becoming a radiology technician. Thank you, Caitlin. We will now meet the five young women who, throughout the last month, have, as candidates, have been learning about the community they hope to reside, represent. Our first candidate is Michaela Neville, granddaughter of Larry and Nancy Neville. Her sponsor is Northern Insulation. Michaela is currently president at her church's youth com committee, 
And at GFW, she is an honor roll student and a lettered member of the varsity dance team. Michaela enjoys reading, spending time with family and friends, especially when it involves outdoor activities. In the future, Michaela plans to attend college and become a veterinarian. Hi, my name is Michaela Neville. My sponsor is Northern Insulation. If you need any insulation for your house or a garage, go online at northern-insulation.com. Please welcome Lisette Guzman, daughter of Jesus and Carmen Guzman. She is sponsored by the Hairbase. Lisette is very active in theater, band, and is a proud member of the GFW varsity softball team. She also enjoys volunteering her time and talents in the theater department, even when not performing. In the future, Lisette plans to go to a four-year college to pursue her interests in business and finance. Our next candidate is Jordan Reddy, daughter of Jeff and Melissa Reddy. Her sponsor is Glazer Law Office. Jordan keeps herself quite busy at GFW, being involved in Knowledge Bowl, FFA, and Prom Committee, and as a varsity member of the volleyball, basketball, and softball teams, all while keeping herself on the A honor roll. During the summer months, Jordan can be found on the softball field or car hopping at the Country Drive-In in Winthrop. In the future, Jordan hopes to attend a four-year college showing interest in the field of science. My name is Jordan Reddick, and my sponsor is the Glazer Law Office located on Main Street. There you will find lawyer Paul Glazer, who specializes in business law, estate planning, real estate, and probate. So for all your legal needs, just call Paul at 507-834-6212. Next, please welcome Shiloh Hilbert, daughter of Nate and Jennifer Hilbert. Her sponsor is WCCO's recently voted Minnesota's best bowling alley, Code 3 Bowling and Party. At MBL, Shiloh is on the student council, the secretary of the National Honor Society, and a proud captain of the track and field team. She also enjoys all things outdoors in her free time. In the future, Shiloh would like to pursue a career in architecture. Last but certainly not least, please welcome Madison Hoffman, the daughter of Al and Don Hoffman. She is sponsored by Lakeside Plumbing and Heating. Madison is involved in many programs at GFW, including the National Honor Society, FFA, and Prom Committee. She also keeps stats for basketball team and is a member of varsity volleyball team. During the summer, Madison can also be found car hopping at the Country Drive-In in Winthrop. When Madison has free time, she likes to go camping, biking, and spending time with family and friends. After high school, Madison would like to explore her options at a four-year college. I'm Madison Hoffman, and my sponsor is Lakeside Plumbing and Heating. For all your plumbing and heating needs, call Tim or Toby from Lakeside Plumbing and Heating at 507-834-6206. Let's have a big round of applause for these outstanding young women. In addition to Catherine and myself, I see some additional Given Royalty alumni joining us tonight. Those of you who are here, please stand and show off that royal wave. Thank you ladies for joining us to see tradition continue tonight.
We're waiting on our list of our, <laughs> our list of uh, visiting royalties, so just give us one second. We are also pleased to have a wonderful sparkle section filled with visiting royalty here with us tonight. Please stand as we read your town's festival name. Um, we have Winthrop Royalty here with us tonight. We have Fairfax Royalty. Lester Prairie. Norwood Young America. We have Sibley County here. And we have Gaylord Royalty. We also wish to recognize our judges who took on the challenging task of selecting the two ladies who will be crowned this evening. Former Aquitennial captains Gary Schock and Sherilyn Carson, and former Miss Henderson 2008 and Miss Sibley County 2012, Kaylin Losey. At this time, we would like to invite the members of the Winthrop Honor Guard to the stage to present Caitlin with her scholarship. Well, it's an honor to be here. My name is Norm Graham, representing the Honor Guards from Winthrop. And uh, we would like to thank the committee, Winthrop, for the Winter Fest Committee and, and the Queen uh, Pageant Committee for letting us be present. And uh, we wish the five candidates good luck. Well, that's something to look forward to. Uh, <laughs> $500 scholarship to Caitlin, the all touring uh, princess, or queen, I guess, and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for your continued support and generosity towards our program. Now, please welcome representatives from Minneapolis Aquatennial to the stage.
Community Charm represents two things. One, it represents the relationship between the community of Gibbon and the Minneapolis Aquatennial. And two, it serves as your official invitation to join us the third week of July for the Minneapolis Aquatennial Candidate Week. And we're so excited for you. volunteer in your, here in the community of Gibbon that's done an extraordinary job. And so I'm just going to read this bio. Uh, normally we'd like to keep you all in suspense when we begin reading the biography submitted for the Honorary Commodores Award, but I just don't think that will be possible this time. You see, so many of you deserve thanks and to be recognized for all that you do for this amazing little community. In the few times we've been here, we've come to know that Gibbon is a town full of doers. Whether it's times of joy or times of tragedy, this town holds each other up, either cries or celebrates, and you do it all together. Today we are here to celebrate those who make the celebrations possible. Over the years, the Gibbon Fun Fest Committee has consisted of many different faces, all of them with one goal in mind, to celebrate the amazing city of Gibbon. In 2011, the committee stepped up their fundraising efforts in preparation of going all out for the city's 125th anniversary in 2012 with a fireworks display, a parade, a 5K, and a vendor fair. However, the biggest change came in addition of an entirely new celebration, Winterfest. Kickball in the snow, snow sculpture uh, competitions, frozen medallion hunts, and much more. What's there not to love? When you fast forward to today and all those additional pieces of given celebration, they're still going strong. This is thanks to many wonderful volunteers, past and present, who have served on the Given Fun Fest Committee. But today we celebrate the present, the small but very mighty committee of Jan Carlson, Renee Schwartzloff, Andrea Wartz, Tom Cano Clement, and Jill Stangman. We celebrate and thank them, the ones who are responsible for making Winterfest and Fun Fest a success. And to some, most importantly, they are the ones who bring Santa to Given each year. So on behalf of the Minneapolis Aquatennial, the Gibbon Royalty, and your entire community, thank you to the Fun Fest Committee for bringing the fun to Gibbon. If you could get all those individuals to join us on stage, I'll name them off one more time. Uh, Jan Carlson, Renee Schwarzrock, Andrea Wartz, Tom Cano Clement, and Jill Stangman. One more round of applause for you. So again, we just want to say thank you guys so much. We hope that you can come down third week of July this year. Join us for the Minneapolis Aquatennial Celebration. And on behalf of our entire organization, again, thank you guys. We appreciate you. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you. Thank you again to the Aquatennial for coming. Um, there's one more group that we all want you to meet. So please welcome Gibbon Fire and Rescue Chief, Toby Bruins, to the stage. Wow. 
another year. Um, I get to stand here, absolutely amazing, astounded by you people, all your support that you put on for us. I thank you for everything you do, your continued support towards our department. Uh, right now I'll ask all the rest of the firefighters to come up, up in front so I can honor them. out here right now in this crowd that put us where we're at to make us be who we are and obviously we've learned a lot from them over the years so thank you to the entire firefighters for everything you've done. These guys here stand down there do an amazing job. These ladies, guys and ladies do an amazing job. For me, 140 hours per person average went in this year to it. But on Thursday night, we sat in a special class that I had never seen before, hands down, probably the best drill, the best class that we've ever had in our fire barn uh, come in-house to us. I see a lot of stuff going out being chief, assistant chief, and that where I show up at class and be part of. But Thursday night was special. Like, we brought in our spouses, we brought in uh, different people around the community to be part of it. And hands down, like, we can't do our job, we can't do what we do every single day without our family at home. So, um, right now I can break it down. But I have a wonderful wife at home, I have wonderful kids, and these guys also do, that we can't do our job and go out and do what we do every single day without our spouses being there to back us 110%. So, um, can the spouses in that please stand up? <laughs> I thank you guys for everything. I mean, you make our world go wrong. And um, I guess I'll just go on by saying, Everybody's names will start with my lieutenant, Jim Evenson. <laughs> Neil Helgett. <laughs> Training Officer Dan Buechner. <laughs> Jay Howe. <laughs> Brian Carlson. <laughs> Andrea Wirtz. <laughs> Ryan Panning. <laughs> Kyle Schilling. Dana Winslow, James Tice, my captain, Jason Ern Reddick, his wife, Constance Reddick, Assistant Chief, Ryan Sava, and Dan Tice. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. You make my world go because Without your hard work and dedication, I don't win. And without the community, I don't win. So I continually get support day in, day out from not only the community, but from all these guys busting their tail every day for me. And it's 100% appreciated. Tonight's my night to be able to tell them how much I appreciate what they do. So thank you and good luck to the candidates. Thank you to the entire department for all you do for the city of Gibbon and surrounding townships. We are all a valued part of this wonderful committee or community. As we get closer, folks, at this time, we would like to invite Caitlin to share her reflections on the past year as Miss Gibbon. The start of my royal experience was a little different than most, but not anything less. 
I turned out to be the only candidate running for Miss Given this past year. This was something I was unprepared for. I didn't know how this would make my year go, but I remember standing in front of the crowd waiting. All eyes were on me and I was nervous. I may have I may have known I was going to be misgiven, but I had no idea what great adventures I was going to experience this past year. Over the past year, I had the privilege of representing our great community of Gibbon. I went to various parades, coronations, and town festivals. I enjoyed the Father's Day Parade in Hutchinson with my dad. I'm glad I got to share my first parade with him. My favorite parade was Gibbon. I was so happy I could help and attend all the events during Gibbon days. It is so fun being in the community and visiting with everyone. I also loved helping with the trunk or treat during Halloween. Visiting with all the kids was my favorite part and so much fun. Another one of my favorite events was going to Aquatennial's Best Days of Summer and supporting our past queen, Kaylee Franson. I hope I represented Gibbon as well as she did. I also want to thank Kaylee for being there for me whenever I had a question or just spending the day with me. I greatly appreciate everything. I also enjoyed watching and supporting the Gibbon Reds this year. This was a year to remember. The Gibbon Reds made it to the state tournament and I had the honor to watch their games. And I even got an interview with KMUJ. The image of a sea of red fans will stay with me forever along with the pride I have for Gibbon. As my year comes to a close, there are a few thank yous I want to say. I want to thank the Hair Race for being my sponsor and doing our hair today. It is businesses like you that make it possible for girls like us to run for this program. To Nikki, Anna, and Lexi, thank you for being the best coordinators. You were always there for me and made me feel right at home. I will not forget the countless pictures, dress zipping, hair fixing, and lots of laughter. I also want to thank the Gibbon Fire Department for driving me at various parades. Also, thank you to Steph Thorson for supporting me as Car Hop and Miss Gibbon. I can't wait for May. To my family, thank you for always coming to my parades, no matter the weather. Thanks for making sure I was on time and had everything I needed before leaving for a busy day. A shout out to my sister Kylie for helping me putting, putting on my shoes because I picked out the poofiest dress. To my sparkle section. You guys made this year great. I wish you all the best and to never lose your sparkle. I want to give a special thanks to Winthrop and Fairfax Royalties for letting me tag along on some crazy adventures. I will always share a special place in my heart for all of you. To the girls sitting behind me, I want to thank you for running for this program. This is a great program. I have personally gained so much this past year. <coughs> I'm so happy that I got to share this day with you. No matter what happens, I hope you all continue to represent Gibbon the best you can and support our newly royals. To the newly crowned, have fun, be yourself, and show everyone the great things Gibbon has to offer. I know each and every one of you will do great things. So for the last time, and crown and sash. I am your 2017 Miss Gibbon, Kayla Unger. That was wonderful, Caitlin. Thank you for representing Gibbon so well. This year, as in past years, we are crowning two royals who will spend a year serving as equal representatives of Gibbon. There is a sealed envelope containing the name of who will be recorded as Miss Given 2018. However, this will not be revealed until next year when their reign is complete. So I guess you will have to join us again next year to find out how this story ends. Candidates, it's time. Will you please come to the center of the stage? Um, and Caitlin, will you come do the honors? We are crowning the royalty in no particular order. <laughs> the first member of the 2018 Gibbon Royalty is Jordan Red.
Congratulations to your 2018 Gibbon Royalty, Shiloh Hilbert and Jordan Redding. Thank you again, everyone, for coming out and supporting these wonderful young ladies. Thank you to the Gibbon Fire Department for your continued support. Thank you to the Fun Fest Committee for inviting us to your Winter Fun Fest festivities. Please make sure to join us on, on Sunday um, out at the Sportsman's Club tomorrow um, for Winterfest 2018. Feel free to come to the stage and congratulate and take pictures with your newly crowned royalty, allowing local newspapers, visiting royalties, and families to get their photo opportunities in first. Thank you, and we will see you all in July for Fun Fest 2018.